This is a vintage 70s electronic game. I found this at a garage sale. It's pretty complete. And I tested it out and it worked. And it sold for $35. This uh, souvenir photo came from a uh, box of photos that I paid $5 for at a garage sale. One of those uh, photos that uh, are taken at a restaurant. And of course, they try and sell it to you. And this is probably from the uh, 50s, maybe the 40s. Just kind of a cool uh, souvenir. And this sold for $15. This is a sealed vinyl LP by the lovely and talented Olivia Newton-John. Originally purchased, I believe, at Kmart for $6.56. This came in a uh, auction box of albums that I got for $5. There's some other nice hits in there. Lots of Linda Ronstadt, must have been a uh, female vocalist aficionado. Anyway, this sold for $30. I really thought I had done well with these uh, napkin rings when I found them at a garage sale for a couple dollars, but when I got them home, I found out that they weren't worth that much at all. Even though they're silver and new in the box, all tarnished. They only sold for $13. This sad looking pair of boots was one of the last things at an auction. I got this and a couple other items for just $2. And when I brought them home, I thought I could see some sort of writing on the heel. Maybe you can make out just a little bit of it. But it turns out these are made by the uh, Jarnigan Company, which produces uh, Civil War reenactment uniforms. And these are uh, brogans, which apparently were worn in the Civil War. They're leather, very rough cut leather, and uh, apparently highly sought after. I sold these for uh, $100, and they're going out to uh, Dover, Delaware. This is another uh, disc washer record cleaning system, along with this uh, stylus cleaner. I've got so many of these disc washers. I've got about three or four up for sale, and a couple more uh, sitting around the different record players in my house. but. Uh, so I get these basically for free. They just come along with, uh, seems like every other record player I buy, I get another disc washer. But uh, this pair sold for $50. This is the original Kenner's Easy Bake Oven, the finest incandescent baking oven available. In 1965, this one, uh, I found this uh, about two years ago at a garage sale, but it kind of got stuck in the back of my garage and. I actually have two of these. And uh, while cleaning out some of the garage just, uh, last week, I found it, put it up for sale before Christmas, but it took until uh, yesterday, the 28th, to sell. It was uh, $4 at the garage sale and it sold for $100. This is another uh, newsboy cabbie type hat. This one's made by Dobbs. And it's uh, one of those hats I got off the 50 cent table at a church sale last summer. And this sold for $20. This is another one of those pre-recorded reel-to-reel um, -reel tapes that uh, I've got so many of them. This is where the guy was very meticulous in uh, printing out little cards saying even when they were recorded and on what they were recorded. This was a Tanberg reel-to-reel uh, -reel that uh, I also acquired along with all the other stereo equipment and tapes. But I sold uh, both the Tanberg recorders uh, over a year ago now, I believe. But uh, I've got so many of these tapes, I need to start grouping them together because selling them at $10 a piece is just too time consuming. Again, this sold for $10 and I don't have any money into these. This is an 80s Sony cassette deck. They don't sell a lot of cassette decks because they can be very problematic. Even if the belts are good, oftentimes they have uh, other transport problems or circuitry problems. 
and they just don't sell for much. Thirty to forty dollars is usually what you get for a single or even a double well cassette deck. This one's a little bit special. It, it is metal tape capable and so I priced it a little higher and it took a few months but it did sell for sixty dollars and this just came along with about four other pieces that I bought for uh, twenty dollars total. This is an interesting piece of uh, electronic history. Back when FM first started broadcasting in stereo it was still an option on your console whether or not you uh, wanted to receive stereo and this is a stereo FM stereo decoder obviously it's a, a tube operated device it came out of the uh, pilot console that uh, I bought for $75 I've sold the amp and tuner out of it for $350 this is kind of cool it has the stereo indicator lamp Kind of a specialized lamp, it just glows orange. But uh, after a cleanup, I listed this separately, and it will work with other uh, brands of, of uh, tube stereos. And it sold for $150. Red Ball Snow Boots. This name doesn't quite have the quality it used to. And normally I wouldn't buy these, but uh, I was at a garage sale last summer. And after getting some other things, I just said, okay, I'll do it for that if you throw these in. So I don't really have any money into them. And they sold for $20. This is a uh, U.S. Army military wool blanket. And this was at an auction. Nobody was bidding on it, and I got it for $2. Turns out it's uh, a 1962 vintage U.S. Army blanket. And it sold for $40. This is the uh, third item off that Pilot console that I've sold. This is the uh, stylus or cartridge and stylus off the uh, turntable. The turntable wasn't working, so I'm parting that out as well. This is a Pickering Model 380 Stanton cartridge. And uh, they get some good money for these. This one for $60. This is a Hometics vibrating massager, a thumper. I've had this for quite a while. I used to sell uh, these uh, home massage units quite often, but um, their uh, popularity has dropped off a little bit. But this one did sell for $30. This is an unused vintage 8-track player that goes under the dash of your classic car. Interesting, I found this uh, after I joined a 8-track appreciation website. Actually, it was on Facebook. And somebody just put up, hey, I've got this 8-track uh, player I don't want. Anybody can have it for shipping. So I ended up giving the guy 20 bucks, and he shipped it to me. And I just sold it for $160. This is an L.L. Bean Mackinac jacket. If it looks familiar, it's because I sold it a few weeks ago, maybe over a month, and it was returned for size. It's a 2XL, but it's a nice, uh, heavy L.L. Bean jacket. And I sold it uh, the first time on a best offer of $145, and this time it sold for $160. This is a vintage Comet aluminum percolator. And this sold for $25. It was just a $2 pickup at an auction. Actually, it was part of an auction box lot. I got a couple of coffee pots. I already sold one of those. And uh, it was funny, just a week ago, somebody uh, messaged me on this, asked if it was uh, totally flat. And I wrote back that there was just an almost imperceptible wobble to it. Never heard back from them. And then it sold this week. $25. This is a uh, digital TV converter and uh, the market's kind of died off on these. I still never pay more than a couple dollars for them, but uh, no longer do I get the six, 50 or $60 for them. This one went for $20. This pair of uh, Better Homes and Gardens cookbooks uh, I've had for less than a year. I can't even remember where I bought them. Um, they may have come in a box lot or uh, at a church sale for 50 cents. I don't pay much for uh, books at all. And uh, 
Surprisingly, they sold for $30. This is kind of a weird sale. This is a Minnesota Vikings year 2000 championship hat. Division champion, anyway. The Vikings were eliminated from the playoffs this year a couple weeks ago. And I know I've had this for well over a year just from the backdrop of the uh, photo in the listing. But it still sold for $25. Another coffee pot. This one's a uh, Farberware Super Fast Countertop Electric Coffee Pot. It's a 12 cup maker. This was uh, $3 at a garage sale over the summer. And it sold for $40. This Marantz turntable is the uh, second one to sell of the 11 I bought a couple weeks ago. And uh, I bought 11 turntables for $500. Slowly getting them uh, refurbished and put up for sale. This one sold for $400. So now we are firmly into the uh, profits section of the program. From a $400 Marantz turntable to a $10 Marantz amplifier faceplate bolt. Off my uh, donor amp. $10. No! 